So this boat, off it goes. See now, it caught the wind. And it's going very nicely. Good morning everybody and welcome to Science Castle. Today we're here at the Proline Park and we're having the lesson about the signs of boats. Mike and Maxie, the superstars today, they're going to go on a field trip to the beach. And there's a little boat here in your science kit that we're going to take out. We do not want to be late for our field trip. How Mike hated it when Maxie was right. So, during these experiments, you can actually see whether you find any solutions on how to help Valentina. Here's our little boat. And if we add the soap, it moves away. What do you guys think will happen? We can even throw it in the salt. We could throw it in this water. It doesn't float. We could throw it in the salt water. It doesn't float easier because it's way too heavy. And I'm here with Christina. She's managing the local water sports center here in Mountain View. So let's open it up and get started. Good morning, Marcel. Good, good morning, Christina. Nice to meet you. Well, welcome everybody to the Shoreline Aquatic Center in Shoreline Regional Park in Mountain View. Gonna drop it in? Uh, what do you think? Not floating, I guess. We are one of the premier water sports facilities in the on the peninsula and in Silicon Valley and have been operating for more than 20 years offering sailing, windsurfing, and kayaking classes. With the, the, the salt in the water makes the water really heavy, um, so it becomes heavier than the actual egg. Let's make it a little more, float a little more. Okay, now it's all the way on the top. You'll see that here. So the boat actually now, or our clay, supports the glass marble so it can float. We also offer week-long summer camps for children ages 5 to 15 years old from uh, sailing, windsurfing, and an aquatic sports camp. Oh, this is for making sure Dr. D is not trying to steal our si secret science books out of my basement. And we also offer boat rentals, pedal boats, canoes, rowboats, and oh. so forth. Valentina decided to follow the kids by flying behind the bus. We actually, in the science kit, we have a little bit of clay here. What we're going to do now is, we're going to take off the peel and see whether it then still swims. We're going to cut off the peel. Well, we'll just add the clip. It doesn't float. So you've seen that this tension here, you see it a little bit on the edges of the paper clip. That's what keeping it afloat. The air was filled with laughter and shouts coming from the water since Valentina was prolocking around with the other kids playing ball. I already guessed that they are floating and you guys drink your lemonade or um, any other drinks with ice in there, usually the ice floats on top and that's how it is here too. The 92% of the ice is underwater and 8% is above water. We're gonna add this little rubber motor here on the back. Okay, off we go. There it is. It goes pretty far out in the lake. Maybe the reason why it didn't go straight because it didn't have a keel. Yep. Now our boat goes out into the lake and comes straight back to us. Here's our little sailboat. And we're gonna put it in here. Let's see what happens. Yep, the wind picks it up. Picks it up. Good. And are you guys open all year round? We are open seven days a week, all year round. Okay. Yeah. Great. I'd love to come here once and actually check one of those classes out. Not a problem. You Good. can also find all of the schedules online at shorelinelake.com. Great. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Christina. Can anybody of you give us a clue? Mr. Wrestler, maybe? Oh, we got to take them out. Do you want to join me? 
Okay, great. Any other kids that want to join me here on the boat ride? Okay. Ready to go? You hold the steer, the, the rudder here. Just hold it like that. I'm gonna give us a little push, and then we're out in the ocean. Ah! <laughs>